Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. I haven't added any extra solar panels yet today, or lately, but I've revised a few things. I had all of these six solar panels onto one charge controller, which is wrong. <laughs> but um, until I got another one. Now, I just connected another charge controller, one for the Harbor Freights, the 45 watt solar panels, and these solar panels are 120 watts, and they have their own charge controller now. The charge controllers are up to 500 watts each. So, I have two more of these. It's going to go on to the one, and I have more room to add those on. Those are 180, and these are going to end up to be 480 watts when I get the other two connected onto this one string. So, it's one step at a time. What I did do lately, today, is the battery box is what I had that I wrapped. So, and I found it has a rubber liner on the inside and it seals. So I use that for my battery bank. I have four batteries inside it. And I got a garden hose going from that to vent through the window. I have to show you. That was pretty cool. It took me only a couple weeks to figure out how I was going to ventilate. This PVC pipe is a bear to work with. Garden hose is flexible and it's really, really nice to work with. So, here we go. Doesn't look that great. I'm going to tie it all up here pretty soon. I need to pull that towel out and I need a seal, but I have a, I got a, what do you call for uh, Bunsen burners, the little cork that goes in. I'm going to put one of those in. I'm going to carve the edge out and I'm going to put this in. That way I can seal it completely. But anyway, I got the garden hose going through there. I put a screen around the other end so that I can't get bugs or contaminants in the hose. So, and when it's cold or 20 degrees below zero, here's my tub. It's going to be completely sealed. So that's really cool. So I won't have any hydrogen escaping into the basement to go to the water heater. That wouldn't be cool. So there's the, the battery. I better stay back a little bit. There's a battery bank and a sealed container. I use that in Iraq and it's a wonderful container. It just kind of hurt my feelings to be drilling holes in it. <laughs> but, but it's working. This charge controller is for the 120 watt solar panels and this charge controller is for the 45 watt solar panels. There's the big inverter. I have an extension cord that goes up to my computer. My computer is off grid at least two hours a day because with the tree in the way I don't have 4.2 peak sun hours at that point but the tree is coming down soon or I'm gonna move something like that so I'll have another story in a couple days as I add another solar panel and I'll let you know the results all right uh, click on subscribe and then click that little bell so you don't miss anything. I have a lot more adventures coming up. See ya.